Hello and welcome back to some more Kitchen Impact. So they added some new content uh, to the game, in particular a new Archon quest as well as a new story quest for Dia. So let's go ahead and start the Archon quest. Uh, this says, this world is filled with those who would oppose fate, while the one who understands fate smiles faintly down upon them. If the one who leaves fate may be born here, then let uh, the one who witnessed fate see it all. So. We're going to be going over to the quest and wants us to talk to Masrur, or however you say that name, in Port Ormos. We're pretty close by. So let's go over there. Hmm. Huh? Wait, you're that blonde traveler who's on a journey to all corners of Tevat, right? Mm-hmm. Who's asking? Do you need something from us? You bet I do. <sighs> I was worried I wouldn't be able to find you. I have a letter for you, you see. It's from another Outlander. Oh, really? He was a crafty fellow, let me tell you. Took advantage of a loophole in our mailing system by opting for guaranteed delivery, then filling in the most obscure mailing address I've ever seen. Well, we are always on the road, so yeah, it's pretty tough to get mail to us unless we happen to go to the post office on whim. So is it Dainsley for every... I think that's his name. Who, uh, sent it? So, um... Uh, he just wrote, <clears throat> next to a small, white-haired, talking fairy. What? So the address <laughs> is Paimon? Wow. Yeah, exactly, right? And if I failed to deliver the letter, I'd have been bound by regulation to compensate him. Really, he got me good. I count myself very lucky that I ran into you here. Great. Well, let me see this letter. Uh, let me see this letter. I'm really curious who could have sent it. Yeah. Of course. Here it is. All yours. Uh, oh, it's from Kaya. It's been a while. How have you been? I've heard that the two of you tra uh, two of you are traveling in Samaro. And I happen to be in Port Ormos on official business. Lately, I've been stopping by Dejavar ah, Tavern for a drink or two every afternoon. If luck's on my side and this letter successfully reaches you, come to me then and we can catch up on old times. We'll see it as a faded encounter. Your trusty buddy, Kaya. Uh, to Jafar Tavern, is that how you say it? Kaya, huh? So he's here in Sumeru. Hmm. Now that Paimon thinks about it, Crafty does describe him pretty well. Yeah, can't say I'm hugely surprised. This is definitely Kaya's style. From what he wrote in the letter, it looks like he didn't think there was much chance of it reaching us. Hmm. Or maybe being sneaky. <sighs> Do you think he's making this sound like a miracle of fate so that we'd have to go meet up with him? Very scheming indeed. Well, no harm done. It'll be nice to catch up with him. Uh, yeah, you're right. It's always nice to see old friends. The letter says that he hangs out at Jafar Tavern every afternoon. Perhaps we should drop in on him then, huh? Jafar Tavern, okay. Uh, so I wasn't expecting to see Kaya here in, uh, Sumero. And let's talk to him very fast again. This was a first for me. It's a good thing luck was on my side. Mm-hmm. Now let's go over to that tavern. I just realized it wants us to wait till the following afternoon and then go over to the tavern. Kaya should be at Jafar Tavern right now. Let's go see him. Uh-huh. Sure thing. Oh, it's pretty close by. I'll have something I haven't tried yet, boss. Uh, sorry, sir. I'm afraid you've already tried every type of liquor we serve. Oh? Well then, just the bill, please. That's just as well, I suppose. I do have other matters to attend to. Kaya, you're really here! Paimon half thought you were playing some sort of prank on us. Hey, Paimon. Traveler. Looks like the gods smile upon me after all. And come now, I wouldn't joke about wanting to see my good friends. <laughs> if you say so, we've missed you too. Wait a second. You must be here on official business, right? What do you think you're doing spending every afternoon drinking at the tavern? You itching for a lecture from Jean? <laughs> Not at all. The acting Grand Master positively terrifies me. Why would I ever do anything that might displease her? 
Uh-huh. Very believable. Uh... The truth is, I'm in Sumeru to learn about the alcohol industry here. So despite how it might look, I'm actually at Jafar Tavern for strictly business purposes. Sumeru spices are famous the world over, and it's long been rumored that this fine establishment was where a certain very popular spiced cocktail was invented. That's why the Knights sent me, their foremost expert in alcoholic beverages, to come and see if it is as good as the rumors say. Really? And? How did that go? So far, so good. I'm already in talks with some spice merchants in Port Ormos about some potential collaboration. Yeah, that does sound like a great business opportunity. Guess Don Winery and Master D. Luke are gonna make a tidy sum from this one too, huh? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Whether this lucrative opportunity gets passed along to Don Winery or not, depends on how nice I'm feeling. <laughs> I'm guessing you've been to Samaro before. Oh? What makes you say that? You came to Samaro all on your own. So you must be quite familiar with the place. Very sharp of you. I wouldn't say I'm familiar, though. I just came here on the sly once, when I was very young. Hmm. And? Do continue. <laughs> Do I have to? When I said we could talk about the old times, digging up my past wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Don't worry about it. You don't have to go into great detail. Well, all right, since you're so interested. Like I said, I was very young then. Don Winery had only just taken me in. I overheard my adoptive father talk about sending a team of merchants to Sumeru during a business meeting. I'm sure you'll agree that everyone's curious about their roots on some level. And my roots? Oh, really? Conria, which is said to have been located deep underground, somewhere near Sumeru. Conria. Wow, so it's here and near so Sumeru. And so I stowed huh? myself away amidst the cargo, and silently joined the merchant delegation on their trip to Sumeru. But it wasn't long before the merchant delegation received news that I'd gone missing. Their leader promptly found me, and before I knew it, my adoptive father was dragging me back home by the ear. It was a short-lived adventure. Sorry I don't have a more thrilling story for you. <laughs> Speaking of Conria, how much do you know about it? Honestly, not much. The only reason I knew that Conria was near Sumeru is because I happened to read that in a book when I was young. Oh, there's Dainsleaf. My life had less and less to do with Conria as I grew up. And so I started caring less as well. I used to believe that I had inherited some sort of duty from my father. But then I began to wonder. Maybe my father left me in the peaceful land of Mondstadt for no other reason than simply to give me a happier life. Mm. A happy life sounds good to me, of course. Even if it means being cut off from... certain things. This is obviously all speculation. Simply put... I'm afraid that I'm not particularly in the know on this topic. These days, my surname, Albrecht, is probably the only link to Conria that I have left. One death afternoon, please, boss. Oh. Uh-huh. Tell me, what do you know about the significance of that name, Albrecht? How about you tell us, Dainsley? D Dainsley? Ah, you've decided to join us. I was wondering how long you planned on listening in. I believe I've seen you before in Mondstadt. Dainsliff, if I'm not mistaken. Dainsliff. I thought it was pronounced Dainsliff before. So you remember me. Then we are already acquainted. Kaya Albury, Descendant of the Abyss Order's founder. Oh boy. Huh? Uh, the Abyss Order. What? <laughs> I take it that you weren't aware of this until now, Kaya. Or you wouldn't have been so forthcoming with your surname. Oh my. That's quite a lot of baggage for a surname, isn't it? Though I must say, it does confirm an old suspicion of mine. I suppose that was why my father left me in Mondstadt after all. I'm surprised that you take me at my word without the faintest hint of skepticism. Well, perhaps what you told me just happens to answer some questions I carry in my memories. And in any case, I recognize your eyes. 
Hmm. You're a pure blood Conrian, aren't you? Very clever. Forgive me for being direct, but I sincerely hope this new knowledge doesn't change anything. If you've already let go of your ties to the past, then keep it that way. So their eyes can, like, indicate whether or not they're from Kanye? Kaya, you're not involved with the Abyss Order in any way, are you? Hey, hold on now. This conversation has taken a rather sudden turn for the Deadly Serious. And I'm afraid that as someone from Mondstadt, I'm not accustomed to this sort of atmosphere. So what if I know my ancestry? Do I strike you as the type who would be bound by that kind of thing? Not really. Relax. I'll be just as delighted to hunt down the Abyss Order tomorrow as I have always been. I trust you, Kaya. Either way, looks like we're out of time. I've got a spice merchant to meet in a minute, so I'll leave the three of you to carry on the conversation without me. Uh, well, all right then. You go do your thing, Kaya. See you around. And Dainsliff, no need to listen in from the sidelines next time we meet. Let me buy you a drink. Okay, see ya, Kaya. <laughs> you don't really trust him, do you, Dane? You're both from Conria, but you get on like oil and water. The fact is, I still do not know him well. It would be meaningless for me to jump to conclusions. But can a person truly be unaffected by their ancestry? This remains to be seen. So you said that the Alberique, or I already said it, founded the Abyss Order. I thought my sibling was the founder. Well, I suspect that they call your sister their princess, precisely because there is a succession of sorts. Huh. Oh, so if she was the founder, she'd be the queen, right? So, what do you plan to do here in Samaro? I mean to investigate the Loom of Fate. Do you remember that name? Yeah, the Abyss Order's evil plan! We learned about that back in Mondstadt. You've got a new lead. Not new. Not exactly. My memories suffer from erosion. But while I was recovering my health recently, I suddenly remembered something. Your sister. She mentioned the Loom of Fate back when we traveled together. All the way back then? So that was already a thing several centuries ago? Apparently so. I was also quite surprised when these memories tallied up. I recall that we were traveling to Sumeru when the matter was brought up. So, really? you're going to the place that she mentioned back then? Correct. At that time, they must have been introduced in one way or another to this concept. If I recall correctly, we were somewhere in Avidya Forest then. Well, mm. what are we waiting for? Let's go! Maybe we'll discover some secret that's lain hidden for hundreds of years! No. Now is not the time. Are you concerned about the Abyss Order, or, or are we waiting for the perfect moment? Hmm. What about, uh, I'll do no, the Abyss Order. No, it's just, I'm still waiting for my drink. Oh. <laughs> Seriously? After Dane finishes his drink, you prepare to travel to Avidia Forest. So let's teleport over there, I guess. Wait. This place, it's... Familiar. What about it? It looks pretty normal to Paimon. Was it like this hundreds of years ago, too? Yes. The forest has barely changed from how I remember it. There is very little human activity here, after all. Let's search the area and see what we can find. Okay. Is this a field? It must belong to whoever owns that house over there. But it looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. You could be forgiven for thinking nothing was ever grown here. Or, wait, maybe nothing ever was grown here. It's an extinguished bonfire. Forest rangers, perhaps? Looks like it's been ages since it was last lit. And clearly they put it out carefully to prevent a forest fire, too. That's responsible. Nothing else stands out in this area. All that's left is that building. Come on. Wait, we're just gonna go barging in? What if someone's home? That's never stopped us before, Paimon. Unlikely. There are no signs of life in this area. We should be able to enter without incident. If you say so. Well, uh... You lead the way 
then Dane. <laughs> okay, sure. Let's open this door here. Huh? So there really isn't anyone home. <laughs> Ugh. This place is so dusty. Paimon bets no one's lived here in years. Investigate carefully. We mustn't miss a single detail. Okay, let's investigate this thing. Hey, look! It's a bull! Guess whoever used to live here liked to cook, huh? Can't you smell it? There's a heavy scent of medicinal herbs in here. Oh, so it's a medicine bull? Hmm. <laughs> Seems you're right. You've got a good nose on you, Dane. <laughs> what about this thing? There's a box over here. Why don't we open it? Uh, and by we, Paimon means you. Paimon's just scared that whatever's inside might bite her fingertips off. What in the world is going through your head? Uh, you sure are going places with your paranoia. Huh? This is a mirror. Weird. It's broken, too. Was this a makeup box? Hmm. It's just a regular mirror. And it's just broken. Hmm. That's kind of disappointing. Paima was hoping we'd uncover some super big secret. Especially after Dane talked this place up. Oh. And last but not least, this right here. This bed looks pretty ordinary. Huh. There's nothing underneath it either. What sort of person would want to live here? It's so dark and damp. Can't be all that comfortable. Doesn't look like there's anything else worth our attention here. You sure we're in the right place, Dane? My memories are quite foggy, but my subconscious and instincts both assert that something once happened here. But we'll exhaust ourselves if we search aimlessly. Hmm. I hear noises outside. Let's go and check. Noises? Is it... It's not much. Just some minor adversaries. Adversaries, huh? So, either the Abyss Order or Aramites. Uh, let's open the door. Oh, it's just some slimes. Monsters? Wow, Dave's ears are sharp, just like his nose! He's in surprisingly good shape for a 500-year-old. Although, for someone who's as full of surprises as Dane, it's hardly a big deal. Anyway, let's beat up these monsters! Is that it? Oh, no. Think you can get away? I thought that would be Here it. But it Let's proved play. me wrong. Sucker swirl. There we go. Oh wow. Take flight. Its shield uh, yeah. kept it alive for longer than I expected. Should have probably tried to break it with Jung uh, Lee. I doubt that the appearance of those monsters was wholly random. There must be something nearby that attracted them. A ley line anomaly, perhaps. Hmm. But it seems to be more than that. Okay. I'll go slightly further out to investigate any issues with the nearby ley lines. I might be a while. You should wait for me here. What? You're going alone? You better not be trying to keep some secret from us. Your suspicions are as banal as they are unwarranted. I merely think that this house should remain the focus of our investigation. And as such, someone ought to stay here and keep an eye on it. Not to mention that if even forest rangers are capable of investigating ley lines, I will be more than able to handle it alone. Uh, fair enough. Guess we'll just camp out here then. Good thing there's a fireplace over there. Let's make ourselves something to eat. All this running around has made Paimon real hungry. Of course it has. Okay, then right over there to the fireplace. Oh, they want us to light a fire. Okay, Deluk, you light the fire. You and Paimon make a fire, and before you know it, night sets in. <sighs> Your cooking is as good as ever. Even if there was no other reason, the food alone would be enough for Paimon to stick with you. <laughs> well, freeloading comes more naturally to you than most. You're easy to please. Changing the subject. Dane's taking forever. 
He said that there might be an issue with the nearby ley lines. How bad do you think it could be? <sighs> we came together, but now it's back to just being the two of us again. You know, now that Baima mentions it, we really have spent lots and lots of time together, haven't we? Uh-huh. Um, so... Don't take this the wrong way or anything, but... Uh... Do, do you ever get tired of Paimon being around? You make my day every day, Paimon. Oh, you stop it! Now you're embarrassing, Paimon. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So, um, next question. Don't know if it's okay to ask this, but Paimon's curious. What was it like traveling with your sister? Huh. Uh, stars? We gaze at the stars just like this, and we point at the planets we wanted to visit. Wow. We traveled through the universe, always by each other's side. We saw all manner of hope and despair. This is the first time we've ever been separated. If nothing else, I just want to know what happened. Yeah, Paimon understands. Being separated without even knowing the reason why, it's just terrible. But we'll find the truth together. Sure as Paimon's your guide. Just you wait, Heavenly Principles, and you too to that. Uh, just you wait, Heavenly Principles, and you too to that. No. Uh, you know what? We've talked too long about this sad stuff. Let's talk about something happy instead, because if you're sad, Paimon will be too. Don't worry about it, Paimon. Thank you. All right, all right. It's getting dark, so why don't you rest? Paimon will take first watch. Don't worry, no monster's gonna come and eat you up. Well, this is a first, Paimon. Not going to bed before me. Oh, come on! Don't say that! Paimon just wants to look after you for once. All right. Good night, then, Paimon. Nighty-night. Go on, chew. Off to sleep! Hmm. Memories of your sibling fill your mind as you fall soundly asleep. Hey, time to wake up. The sun has risen. Okay. Dang. What a deep sleeper. You do know that we need to... Hmm? Tear stains. You dreamed of your sibling last night, didn't you? All right. Rest here a bit longer, then. I'll head into the forest to investigate. Hmm. Huh? Why are you going back into the forest? <sighs> hmm. How did I sleep till morning? Why didn't Paimon wake me up to switch shifts? Hang on a moment. Where is Paimon, anyway? Oh boy, where'd she go? Ah, I vaguely remember Dane coming over. Did Paimon go into the woods with him, seeing how I hadn't woken up yet? Whatever the case, looks like it's just me here for now. Guess it's time to stretch my limbs and have a look around. Uh, wait, did that noise come from inside the house? Paimon, is that you? Paimon, this isn't time for hide-and-seek. Hmm... No reply. I should go inside and check. Very weird and suspicious. I'm gonna change my uh, party members very fast. Oh, I can't change my party members. Halt! What do you think you're doing? Ah, you startled me. This place is not whatever you think it is. Nor should you be poking your nose into my business. Be gone. Whoa, whoa, just calm down. I'm only here to look for my traveling companion. Your travel companion? You mean the one that was keeping watch by your side last night? <laughs> oh, look at his eyes. Your companion departed for the forest early this morning. That much I saw with my own eyes. I thought so. Still, I don't know if I can trust this person's words just yet. So, you mean to say that you were nearby last night? What business is that of yours, hmm? 
All you need to know is that I claimed this place first. And what I do here is none of your concern. Do I make myself quite clear? Leave. Wow, rude. There's something strange about this person. I need to find out what he's hiding. Well, what are you waiting for? I don't think I'll have much luck trying to find my companion in the woods. I think I'm better off waiting here for them to come back. <sighs> if you must, suit yourself. <laughs> I've been observing you. And you don't look like a forest ranger, nor someone from the academia. Still, I'm warning you, no funny business. Promise me that, and you can do as you please. <laughs> I'm no villain, nor will I pretend to be a saint. Okay, fine. Whatever. Just move aside. I'm heading in. May I join you? I was out here all night, I'm told. You... Oh, go on then. Have it your way. I knew I wasn't going to be able to hide this anyway. Just, just come in. Wow. But no overreacting to anything you see in here, okay? You understand me? Relax, I've been around. It takes a lot to phase me. Come on then. Wow. What's up with this weird guy? Uh, a hilly churl? Why do you keep a hilly churl at home? Mind your own business. And don't worry, he isn't aggressive. <laughs> How could he be? He was too young for anything like that. Huh. So don't you lay a finger on him. Just find yourself a corner to rest if you're tired or cold. You're from Conria, aren't you? Huh? You know Conria? Who are you, exactly? And how do you know I'm from Conria? I'm just a traveler. I've met others from Conria. Your clothes and your eyes. Do you worship a god, traveler? Uh, I follow no god. In fact, I count some of them as my foes. I count some of them as my friends. Okay. Sounds like you've had an eventful life. <laughs> All right. Well, um, my name is Ida, and you are correct. I was once Conrian. Oh, I apologize for my earlier hostility, but you must understand, as, as far as I'm concerned, humans who do not worship the Seven are nigh extinct. And all who place faith in the gods are my enemies. That sounds a little too black and white. That may be. But the fact is that chances to talk to people like yourself have been... Few and far between since the Cataclysm. This wretched curse of immortality. I... Who knows how long I must continue to suffer like this. What is the curse of immortality exactly? I take it that's how you survived for so long? The curse? <laughs> it was a little gift. Given to the people of Conria by those vile gods. We lost our home. Our loved ones. Everything. The agony of the cataclysm itself was already too much to bear. But then came the curse robbing us any chance of release. All we can do is watch helplessly. As our souls erode and our bodies decay. So, Aid, uh, Aid, huh? It's just like, dang, someone who bears the curse of immortality. So, why did some people turn into hilly churls? And why were you afflicted by this curse instead? While you were because, afflicted by this curse instead? Although Conria began with a single bloodline, it was. 
a home to others too. Any who forsook their gods and came to Conria were welcomed as our fellow citizens. When the cataclysm came, we pure blood Conrians were declared the greater sinners. Upon us, the gods placed the curse of immortality. But those whose ancestry belonged to the domains of other gods were punished with the curse of the wilderness as they fled, turning them into monsters. So, who is this hilly churl to you? He is Kari Bear, my illegitimate son. Well, that sucks. How times have changed. <laughs> I can say that out loud with no consequence now, but... Oh, it was once a matter of unspeakable shame. I was a noble of Caria. I resented the life that my family had arranged for me. And then, one day, I met a beautiful woman amongst the people. Her roots were in Mondstadt, but that mattered not to me. It was love at first sight. <laughs> Kari Bear faced great hardship from the very moment of his birth. All due to my selfish desires, and, and I was never able to be there by his side for any of it. After all that, he turned into a hilly troll right before my very eyes. I always owed him much, and now I, at least I can finally be close to him. What happened to his mother? She was. <laughs> we were separated. I do not wish to dwell on it. I'm sorry. I know this can this must cause you great pain. Hmm. It could be worse. I suffer the pain of loss because I once had everything I could wish for. <laughs> and now, now that I have lost almost everything, the little that remains I see with new clarity. If nothing else, at least I still have Curry Bear. Hmm. What do you plan to do now? What were you planning to do around here? Ah, oh, yes, I, that reminds me. I I only returned here to check on Curry Bear, but I do have other things I wish to do. You may come with me, if, if you're uh, so inclined. Okay. Can I talk to Curry Bear? Hmm. Now we know why the uh, Archon quest is called that, though. I can't see it yet. Let's go outside and talk to him over here. Over here? A uh, crafting bench. What are you going to use this for? I'm sure you're wondering why I brought Kari Bear here to Sumeru. Mm -hmm. Well, it's because he needs a medicine that can only be made here. One which will help him to recover his clarity of mind. Recover his clarity of mind? When we were in the chasm, Dane said that the curse cannot be undone. Is recovery really possible? I do not hope to break the curse. I am well aware of my powerlessness against the punishment of the gods. But it is said that this medicine is imbued with the power of Sumeru's god of wisdom and can awaken the mind from a state of deep stupor. It has been used in the past to treat cases of mania. <laughs> I believe that it might just work. <laughs> Where did you hear of this? I read about it in a book. <laughs> From the Royal Library of Conria. It was banned. <laughs> wow. I mean, since this medicine requires the power of the Seven to work. In my youth, I... I disliked the life of nobility and craved excitement. I was leafing through some forbidden text and happened upon it. You know, there must have been a reason it was banned. It sounds dangerous. 
<laughs> what other choice do I have? Hmm? What exactly would you have me do, huh? The gods have already punished us. What does one more sin matter now? All right, don't get too worked up. I understand. No matter what, no matter what, you have to try. Never mind. As uh, long as you understand, I, I'm sorry. I struggle to take control of my mood sometimes. Uh, perhaps a consequence of having lived too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As it happens, I am in dire need of some help to make this medicine. My hands don't have the dexterity they once did. I, uh, I fear they may be decaying from within. Oh, oh, thanks to this curse of immortality. Okay. To start with, uh, take this ingredient. Uh, what's that supposed to be? A mushroom? I've never seen a mushroom of this kind before. Uh, also, uh, do you have any uh, of uh, Sumeru's regional specialties on hand? I believe they're called Kalpalata lotuses and Sumeru roses. Oh, I can see them right there, yeah. I picked some before, yes. Oh, wonderful! Oh, in, in that case, we have everything we need. This is the method for making the medicine. You just need to follow the steps. Hmm. That's not going very fast. Without your help, oh, goodness knows how long this would take me. Thank you. Sure. Let's go over here and grab those things that I saw very fast just because... Uh, right there, and then, whoops, right up here as well. It's always nice to have extra ingredients. So let's craft. Earth and water, wind and fire, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we can just go ahead and craft this. Good. And now we just need to talk to him, right? Is it done? Oh, splendid. Let me see. Hmm. In all honesty, I do not know what the end product is supposed to look like. <laughs> the band book didn't feature any illustrations. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Well, the moment has finally arrived. Curses. Excuse me? Is it time to give Carabert uh, Care the medicine? How do you say his name? No, no! We need to perform one final step to complete the medicine. I said before that this medicine relies on the power of the God of Wisdom for its restorative effects. <laughs> Which means we must pay a visit to a statue of the Seven. Ouch, that can't be easy for someone from Conria. I understand your reluctance. Since he needs the God of Wisdom's power, should I get Nahida to help? Hmm, forget it. Aid hates the gods. I, it could complicate things. I'll just do it his way. Let's go. Bring the medicine with you. Hmm. Okay, so we need to go to a nearby Statue 7 all the way down there. Look at this statue. How can I bow before this thing? God of wisdom! Look at me! I will utter no prayer, nor will I sing your praises. You and your kind destroyed my home. Wrought unfathomable suffering on my compatriots, yet he... here I stand before you. You, you cannot mock me more than fate itself already has. God of wisdom, I seek not to disavow myself of the sinful blood that flows through my veins. I wish only to beseech you to have pity upon a young and an unfortunate soul. My son, Carabere. 
He was turned into a monster before he had the chance to witness anything beautiful in this world. This is no fate for a child. <laughs> if everything the gods have done was in order to have the impious people of Conry bow their heads, then I bow to you now. I have given up all I ever stood for. All I ask is for a tiny miracle. For Carabere to see this world once more. Please, God. I beg of you. I may not know the whole truth behind the cataclysm, but the people of Conria have truly suffered. Why could Conria and the Seven not coexist in peace? I have made quite enough of a fool of myself for one day. Let's go. Things will get better. <laughs> hmm. Oh, it healed me. Okay, so now we gotta make our way all the way back up there. Thankfully, there is something that I can zip to. Curry Bear? The hilly churl seems almost lifeless. Its reactions to everything are incredibly weak. Well, we've prepared the medicine. We might as well try it. With your help, Aid feeds the newly made medicine to the hilly churl. It's me. It's your father. Cory Bear. Anything? Cory Bear, please say something. I'm sorry I couldn't be at your side when you were born. And that I... I failed to reach you and Mama in time when you both were suffering. But I'm here now. Papa's been by your side all these years. I've never left you, not once. Are you still angry with me, Cory Bear? I know you're awake now. Do you not want to talk to me? I'm so sorry, Cory Bear. Forgive me. Please, say something, anything. Please. Please! It stopped. It didn't work. <laughs> oh, gods above! What more do you want from me? You took everything from here, and I still bowed to you. I'd give you my very life if only you cared to take it. But you won't even let me die. <laughs> I knew it. I should never have trusted anything that had to do with the gods. I was <laughs> just deluding myself. The gods of this world have never stood with humanity, not even for a moment. Calm down, Aid. There might be other reasons it didn't work. Uh, other reasons? What do you mean? Such as, hmm, who knows, perhaps the dosage was too low? Or maybe it takes a full course of treatment. Huh. You, uh, you really think so? You have to exhaust all options. Uh, unless you are ready to give up on Carrie Bear or his Give up? Carrie no, Bear? No, n never. And yes, you're right. I, I, I cannot let myself wallow in despair. Even if I must stay here with him for 50 years, a hundred, I, what difference does it make? I, I do not lack for time. That's the spirit. I'll keep helping you. To have infinite time, yet no hope, can only be called torture. <clears throat> Let's go. We'll make another dose. <laughs> the most crucial ingredient in this medicine is the unusual mushroom, which makes things <laughs> complicated, <laughs> but not impossible. Where did you get those mushrooms from, anyway? <laughs> I grow them <laughs> in that field <laughs> wait in a field like a crop the details don't matter right <laughs> curb your curiosity and just do as i instruct <laughs> if you truly wish to help me that is how you can do it huh fine then there is a waterfall near the statue i prayed at i need you to collect some water from there around uh, two in the afternoon <laughs> 
I'll be here watching Curry Bear. Once you're back, I will make some fertilizer for the mushrooms. Got it. Good. Then and please head over when the time comes. Time passes quickly. Before you know it, it is two in the afternoon. Let's try talking to them. Hmm. Nothing from the early journal, Curry Bear. Please fetch the water. I'll be waiting here. Okay. And let's draw the water. Now we just have to give it back to him. Ah, oh, you're back. Uh, Cora Bear's condition is stable. That's good. By which I mean he still isn't responding. Oh, that's not so good. Anyway, give me the water. Alright, here you go. Aid carefully waters his field. I need you to stand guard here for a, a while. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let any forest rangers approach the house. Understand? Of course. Your secret is safe with me. Ah, good. I'll be back soon. The fertilizer won't take but a moment to make. You wait in the field for aid to return after a while. Monsters. And so many of them. It looks like they're coming for this field. Does watering the field somehow attract monsters? Hmm. Better fend them off. Okay. Easy enough. Stabilize. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. Here we go. Wait a second. Uh, great. I have to chase him down. Time for takeoff. Eh, as long as the field can't be attacked, then it's okay. There we go. What happened? Was it monsters? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness you were here. I couldn't have taken them on all by myself. I'd have to uh, hide and wait until they were gone. <laughs> wow. Oh, yes. Uh, I've got the fertilizer. The effects can take some time to kick in, so let's get on with it. Aid spreads the fertilizer evenly before long the elemental energy Next, within starts to do something. Next, we pick the mushrooms and repeat the same steps as before to make another dose. <laughs> I trust you still remember the method. Those things grew really fast, but uh, anyways, easy enough to pick them. Uh, there was only two of them, okay. Actually, before I craft... I suppose I will soon have to visit the Statue of the Seven once more. Okay. Now let's go ahead and craft. And it should be the same as before. So let's go ahead and talk to him now. <sighs> hey, the medicine's ready. Hey, stop dream daydreaming. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I just, uh, after resting in this field for a while, my thoughts began to wander. I have been so very wary for many years. If only I could fall asleep here in this field and never wake up again. But though the curse denies you even this, you still have Carry Bear. <laughs> Carry Bear. I do uh, indeed. That's why it was just a f fleeting thought. Thank you for your help once again. And now for the final step. Back to the Statue of the Seven. We're here. Let's begin. Hmm? Wait a moment. Hey, what was that? Kari Bear? What? He left the house? Oh no. He must have left while we were too busy preparing the medicine to notice. Come on. We have to catch up with him. Oh boy. Okay, then, down there. So it went into that cave. There he is. That's... That's not Kari Bear. No, it's not. There's no silk scarf around his arm. 
Oh, really? I didn't notice the silk oh, scarf. Right. And Coribert's scarf was a gift I once gave to his mother. I use it now as a, a marker of sorts. My... my eyes must be going. <laughs> How could I not recognize my own son? <laughs> This decrepit body of mine. <sighs> Still, this hilly churl, there's something strange about it. Ah, yes. It doesn't seem interested in us in the least. It seems intent on walking in that direction. Where could it be going? No idea. Let's go have a look. Yes. <laughs> the more we know about hilly churls, the better. <laughs> Okay, so somewhere right over here, there it is. Oh, we've got to follow it, not lose sight of it, I'm guessing. Oh, it's going into Did a domain. Did go in here? Hmm, well, uh, let's head in. Okay, unknown sanctuary. Here we come. What a ghastly place. Has it always existed? I, I swear I've never noticed it before. Neither have I. Anyways, look. What are those hilly churls doing? Huh. It looks like they're... Uh, worshipping. <laughs> sometimes uh, walking, sometimes kneeling in worship, and, and it appears to be in earnest. I've... Never seen anything like this in all my life. What in the world does this place conceal? Oh, there's only one way to find out. The air here, and this creepy scene. It's eerily familiar. Hmm. So we're supposed to continue exploring, it says. Are we supposed to stay behind them, or... Nah, we don't have to. Okay. Door of Resurrection activated. Really now? Are, are there any treasure chests in here? I ought to check just to make sure. I mean, nothing that I can see. So let's continue onward. Uh, that way is where it wants us to go. Hmm. Oh! There are treasure chests in here. So I should keep an eye out for those. That said, I didn't see anything in right. the previous room, so... Huh? Hey! I didn't want to fight you! Leave me alone! Are they gonna chase me for real? Okay. Is this a teleportation device? What energy is powering it? Hey, that's Aether talking. Now that is rare. Continue exploring. Oh, my path was cut off. Here, let's get rid of these guys very fast. No! Oh. Here we go. Think you can get away? Brace yourself. Uh, those two should go down pretty fast. Any more? No? Okay, let's go this way and up here to check around the corners. Nah. I think they would have put them in spots that were a little bit more obvious. Like that right there. Okay, cool. Hmm. Oh, we're up on this little bridge area now. We were down there before. Another door. Actually, we haven't seen a door like this before, I don't think. Huh. Interesting. 
Ooh, some slimes. Now, I've never seen anything like that before. Whatever that glowing thing is. Uh. Here. What are you? Just some kind of puzzle piece. Solidify. Oh, I attacked it without even thinking. But you know what? I'll defeat this one. Uh, just because I'd already attacked it. Okay, I can't go through here, but there is a treasure chest there. Oh. I didn't know that I accidentally triggered you guys. Whatever. Doesn't really matter at this point. Can I get into that room? I might be able to uh, get in from the top. I don't know. I imagine that there's a official way to get into there somehow. Uh, oh, yeah. I should continue through this door over here. It'll probably lead me to those other rooms by teleporting me there or something. That's my guess, anyways. How did I get on the ceiling? Did the room turn upside down? Or gravity itself? That is a good question, Aether. Uh, let's go up this very fast. Hmm. Okay, nothing there. Oh. I could go down there, but I want to go up here first, because I saw a switch. Yeah. Open door. Oh, okay, that's how those doors open. That's nice. And now... It seems like I need to find a place to insert the room. Okay. So there's one more that I need to find. And it probably wants me to go back through this door to find it. Or to get to it. That's my guess, anyways. So let's go this way first, because this is the way it's telling me to go. Thank you for the easy treasure chest. Five Primo Gems from that one. And here's this. Okay, cool. And they allow you to just jump down there. Now that I'm at this point, so I may as well and insert the final piece and open the door. Hmm. Okay, they want us to jump all the way down there. Well then. <gasps> Wait a second, can I land on top of this? Yeah, but is there a reason to have landed on top of this? Not really. Another door. Oh! Hello. not granted you the right to enter this place. An Abyss Herald? No, he doesn't look like someone from the Abyss Order. Hmm. Do you insist on an audience? Very well. Then I grant you the trial of destiny. Defeat the Fortune Lector. Fortune like there, huh? And if this Okay, he commands ice and frost in battle, so thankfully I have uh D loop with me. There we go. Able to deal some decent damage right off the bat. Is he gonna have a shield put up? Yeah I did. Let's see if I can uh, stun him temporarily. Oh, cool, I can. Nice. That 
die. It feels just like I'm fighting an Abyss Herald, so, I don't know. What did he say? Did he say love conquers all? Who was that? He was, uh, he was... A giant pillar, blocking my view. Uh, terrifying. I've seen similar characters before. He was a perfect being I'm in awe huh he had the most wondrous aura a perilous yet beautiful power oh truly mesmerizing oh boy and yet you were able to defeat him oh your strength is greater than I had imagined <laughs> you have Unconventional tastes. I just have lots of combat experience. Let's continue on. I find myself growing more curious by the second and more excited. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so they want us to go through that door. I'm just looking around this room very fast. Wait, is this back the way I'd come from? What are you saying? Weird. I, yeah, I think that that way back there is, uh, the entrance to this place. Ooh, another try the chest. They're being generous with those this time. Although they're not doing a very good job of hiding them. Because they're not even trying to hide them. Just putting them out right in the open. There we go. This might be the last room in this place. I think we've made it to the end. What is that thing? Wrapped in change, in chains hanging in midair, emanating a sinister aura. There's no mistaking it. It's just like the defiled statue. Hmm. So, it does have something to do with the Abyss Order, and these worshipping hilly churls remind me a little too much of the Grand Thief. Hmm. Aid, this place is bad news. We've gotta go! <sighs> Aid? Oh, dear creature. Why do you bow down? For fear of the unknown? Or for a power that you covet? Huh. Whose voice is that? It must be coming from right inside my head. Can't Aid hear it? Oh, dear creature, why do you bow down? For I am no god. I am but a sinner. A sinner? You are like a flower, born in sin, yet pure, spotless. I know your fate well. You need no longer hold back your resentment, nor accept the countless lies. Go forth. Become a transcendent one. Rise beyond the fate bestowed upon you. And I shall shed a tear at the end of time, as I gaze back upon your life. Who in the world are you? What do these words mean? The voice, it's gone. Well, that can't be good. Aid? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Something bad? When I saw that thing, my, my heart was instantly at peace. I, I was overcome by a, a sense of awe or... Or joy, perhaps. Are you all right now? I am. I feel uh, good 
In fact, I, I, I feel better than I did before I came in here. <laughs> How peculiar. Something's not right about this place. We need to get out of here. Oh, uh, is that so? All right, as you wish. You leave the ominous cave and return to Aid's home. Uh, what happened to the sound? Care Bear? Oh, thank goodness, he's still okay. Don't we still need to go to the Statue of the Seven? Why are we back here? I have a strange feeling that what just happened was meant to be. For this to happen, right at the moment when I was dreading worshipping at a Statue of the Seven, it's as if fate was calling to me. <laughs> You say that I bowed before that thing, so perhaps it might be just as effective. That sounds like a ridiculous idea, but if you insist. Well, I have to try. No matter what, you said it yourself. I, I have to exhaust all options. <laughs> Another dose of medicine is administered to the hilly churl. <gasps> Cory Bear? <laughs> Okay. Papa? Oh, Cory Bear! Oh, my goodness, it worked! It's a miracle! Oh, oh, Cory Bear, my dear son! I can't believe it. I'm stunned. You see? It worked! Cory Bear can speak again! Uh, where's... Mama? Mama is... Uh, Cory Bear, look at me. Do you know who I am? Of course. You're Papa. <laughs> salvation! Sweet salvation! Yes, yes, this is... This is what this feeling is. How, how do you feel, Cory Bear? Uh, are you fully awake now? Yes. It feels like I... Just woke up from a long, long sleep. I dreamed that I was hiding in a little room. I didn't dare go out the whole time, and I didn't want to either. Uh, wait. <gasps> My body! What happened to me? Is this. Is this me? Papa? What's happened to me? Uh -huh. Don't panic, son. It's just... While you were sleeping, we, we went into a fairy tale world. There, there's no more Conry uh, here. Um, no more home. But, but, but... Do you know what that means? No more red sky. No more end of the world. In this world, you, you have to be a, a little monster, but, but you get to stay. With Papa, forever. Am I dead? No, 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 no. Of course not. Look, Cory Bear, you, you still have Mama's scarf on your arm. That means she's watching over you, protecting you. So how could you be dead? Really? Hmm. Yes, really. You've all only just woken up, and, and this must all be very confusing for you. Just rest here for now. Things will get better. Oh, oh, and, um, you have to promise me something. Never take off your mask. Of course not. Understand. Whatever happens, you mustn't take it off. Okay, Papa. I won't. I promise. Father and son talk for a long while. It seems something. Not since that day have I been so glad as I am now. I can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I knew that placing my hope in the Seven was a waste of time. <laughs> I I even worshipped at one of their statues like a like a common fool. Never before have I humiliated myself like that. 
Once a murderer, always a murderer. <laughs> I was naive to think that the gods who conspired against us would ever offer redemption. But the god we saw in that cave, oh, now that was a truly mighty god. Nothing like one of the seven. That wondrous power, it was truly enchanting. I... <laughs> Surely that that must have been the reason I bowed down. Hmm. Now then, after one beseeches a god, and the god responds by answering their prayers, should they uh do something to show their devotion? Piety is hardly my area of expertise, <laughs> but surely I should honor the god that has honored my wishes. But, hey, that was not a god. That was a sinner. A sinner? Oh, don't be absurd. You you don't know a single thing about him. How dare you utter such blasphemy? You and I have both witnessed his divine power. When has the Seven worked a miracle like this before? Hmm? Never! He is a god mightier than they, and yet you would call him a sinner. Oh, preposterous. No matter. <laughs> Believe what you will. You cannot shake my faith. I am going to pay my respects with or without you. Uh, yeah. Fine, go ahead. Eight's experience has deeply affected him. Not that he was particularly stable to begin with, but this religious fervor is something else. I guess I'd better catch up with them anyway. There are monsters everywhere. I can't stand by and let them fall into their hands. Hmm. Okay, so this is actually where I'm going to be stopping this uh, for today. So thank you for watching. Next time I play, I will be continuing this quest. And, uh... You know, we'll see where it goes from here. Bye-bye.